It's easy to think that Newtonian gravity was discovered so long ago that everything that can be known about it is already known. But this is far from the case. After Newton published the first edition of Principia in 1687, a pretty unknown figure, Jakob Hermann, first discovered an equally unknown quantity at the time, nowadays called the Laplace Hunger Lens Vector, LRL for short, which is conserved quantity, similar to energy and angular momentum. But this conserved quantity was so unknown that Laplace rediscovered it almost 90 years later, not knowing that someone had already discovered it. Somehow, this quantity remained very obscure and had been rediscovered several more times by Hamilton, Gibbs, and Hunger until Lenz and Pauli applied it to quantum mechanics. You might be baffled by how quantum mechanics was involved. The big picture is that both Newtonian gravity and the classical Coulomb force between proton and the electron in a hydrogen atom scale inversely as the distance squared. So, classically, a hydrogen atom also conserves the LRL vector, but quantum mechanically, the intricate relationship between this vector and angular momentum was responsible for the degeneracies of energy levels in the hydrogen atom. Pauli figured this out before the Schrödinger equation came around. So we know something about quantum mechanics by studying a relatively obscure fact about Newtonian gravity. It is entirely possible that other obscure facts like this can tell us something about modern physics. Of course, it doesn't have to be Newtonian gravity. Maybe some other ancient problem has an unknown fact that can advance modern physics. I'm choosing Newtonian gravity since it's easier to illustrate this point with the connection to quantum mechanics, but also that I am making a series of videos on specifically Newtonian gravity, of which this is the intro. We will explore the LRL vector in the last two videos, where we will also see the underlying symmetries that give rise to this conserved quantity, as guaranteed by Noether's theorem. But before that, we will explore two different connections between Hooke's law and Newtonian gravity, one discovered by Newton himself, and the other by Boleyn more than two centuries later. This connection makes the LLL vector seem more natural. I hope you will enjoy the video series ahead, because I really enjoyed learning and sharing obscure but accessible facts in maths and physics. Thanks for the patrons, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye!